And let's begin first at 430 by bringing you up to speed this afternoon. New details tonight after a man is rescued from that abandoned mine shaft west of Wickenburg last night. 60 year old John Waddell was airlifted to a hospital with leg and knee injuries after he was discovered by a neighbor 90 miles northwest of Phoenix. Friends say Waddell was known to hunt for gold in the area and had been stranded for nearly three days in a pit infested with rattlesnakes. We'll be hearing from crews involved in that rescue coming up on 12 News at 5. Phoenix police desperate for answers in a deadly crash that killed three people and left two others fighting for their lives. Police say the victims, ranging in age between 18 and 23 years old, have all been identified. Investigators say the car was likely speeding when it crashed into a median, then a light pole. It happened just around 1 in the morning on Bell Road near I-17. Tonight, police are searching for the second shooter wanted in connection to last night's deadly shooting in Phoenix. Police say a man and a woman were shot by two different people after an altercation at 39th Avenue. 26-year-old Mark Lopez died of his injuries. The woman survived but was seriously injured. Right now, one suspect has been taken into custody. The search continues for the second gunman. And Phoenix police have made an arrest in a hit and run near 16th Street in Thomas. 26 year old Daniel Pineda is accused of leaving the scene of that crash. The 45 year old victim is in extremely critical condition after being hit by a car while using the crosswalk on 16th Street. Pineda also faces potential DUI charges. We now know the name of the police officer injured during a traffic stop earlier this month. Phoenix police telling us it was Jamie Corrales who pulled over a car near 53rd Avenue in McDowell on October 8th. When the driver tried to get away and end up injuring Corrales by dragging him with his car, Corrales fired his gun during the incident. And new details tonight in the mystery of a missing Wisconsin teenager, Jamie Kloss. The medical examiner finding gunshot wounds ruling her parents' deaths a homicide. Police say they believe Jamie was in the home at the time of the shooting and she may still be in danger. 200 officers are searching for the 13 year old, but so far there have been no credible sightings. We have an update on a story we brought you regarding a deadly bus and semi crash in uh, late August. A preliminary report from the feds says the front left tire of the semi suddenly lost air, causing the semi to cross over into medium and into oncoming traffic near the I-40. The semi crashed into a Greyhound bus, killing nine people. The crash is still under investigation. And Texas police say a woman who left a toddler alone on a front porch took the child to the wrong house. Well, now that woman could be charged with felony child abandonment. Authorities say the child's father lives nearby and the boy was taken to the wrong home. The woman left before anyone came to the door. A California surgeon and his girlfriend pleading not guilty to charges of drugging and sexually assaulting women. The couple had previously been charged with assaulting two women. Prosecutors added more charges this week after five more women came forward. All seven victims say they were drugged in restaurants or bars, then lured back to their apartments and raped. 